So today's video is about comparing two guitars, one that is quite expensive and one that is a little bit more affordable and kind of seeing if you do need to spend a whole lot to get a good tone and to have a good playing experience or whether you can spend a lot less and still have as good of an experience and still get a good guitar tone. Before I get on with it though, I just want to say thank you so much for joining me. Thanks for watching this video. If you like that intro track, uh, I'd appreciate it if you hit like and maybe you even consider subscribing to this channel. Um, I post guitar related videos, um, comparisons, gear stuff, uh, lessons and tutorials, things like that. So yeah, I'd appreciate it if you hit like, if you subscribe, leave a comment, it all helps the channel grow. Anyway, enough of that, um, let's get onto the guitars that we're gonna be talking about today and comparing. Basically, we're gonna be looking at this Gretsch White Falcon, which is a Japanese Gretsch from their professional line, and we're gonna put it against this Gretsch here, this Electromatic Gretsch um, made in Korea, and we're gonna see, do you really need to spend a whole bunch of money on something like this, or can you spend quite a bit less and still get a great tone? Let's figure it out. So the specifics of the two guitars. Um, this guitar here is my personal White Falcon. As I said, uh, it's made in Japan. It's from Gretsch's professional line. Uh, it is the G6136T LDS. Catchy name, I know. Or better known as the White Falcon. You can't actually get this specific guitar anymore, Gretsch don't make it, but the closest thing uh, that you can get when we're talking about sort of purchasing one, this is what I'll be talking about, is the Gretsch G613655. Um, slightly different finish, uh, instead of Gretsch made pickups, their TV Jones pickups, but it's the same style of pickup, same bridge, uh, looks very similar, all the inlays, that sort of thing. And that specific guitar retails for 3,999 US dollars or 6,699 Australian dollars. So absolutely not a cheap instrument. It's a lot It's a lot of money for a guitar, absolutely. As for the Electromatic, um, this one retails for 850 US dollars and 2,099 Australian dollars. So that's over 3,000 US dollars between them and over 4,500 Australian dollars between these two guitars. That's insane, that's, that's a big difference in price. Um, is there a big difference in sound and feel and playability and things like that? That's sort of what we're going to be talking about today in this video and um, maybe coming up with an answer or at least giving you a bit of an idea so you can make a decision for yourself. This specific model is the G5410T. Just a little side note by the way, Gretsch, you know, you know how Fender have the Fender Stratocaster and Tele, you know, Telecaster, Jazzmaster, J Gibson have the Les Paul. Why you got all these numbers? Honestly, I work in a guitar shop and they're all different. They all have different numbers and people are like, oh, what's this model called? And I'm like, let me look it up. And it's the G542310TL. It's confusing. <laughs> I'm just glad that mine is called the White Falcon. That's a lot easier to remember. Now I do want to say that this video isn't a scientific exact side-by-side -side comparison between an expensive and a cheap version of the same guitar because these aren't trying to be the same thing. They're both Gretsch electric guitars, they're both hollow body um, construction, but that's kind of where the similarities end. Uh, these happen to be a similar color, you know, a, a kind of white, um, but the pickups in this are different. You know, it, they're made in different countries. The bridges are different. You know, there's a lot different about it. It's not really about seeing if this one sounds close and whether they sound the same, but it's more about, do they both sound good? Do they both have a vibe? Do they both feel good to play? Um, do you need to spend heaps of money? or can you spend a little bit less?
first thing I noticed when listening to those uh, audio comparisons is that both these guitars sound good. Um, they both sound like usable electric instruments that you could play and enjoy and have fun with. And I think that's the point. To answer the question, do you need to spend a whole bunch of money? Personally, I don't think you need to. Uh, if you've got the cash and you want to, whatever, and it's sort of up to you. I, I feel like a lot of you out there are going to enjoy the sound of the White Falcon and other people are going to prefer the Electromatic and a lot of people will like both because they're different and they do different things and that's cool. Um, I think that goes to show that you don't need to spend heaps of money. And I think often we think in our heads that, you know, as guitarists that, you know, when I get that expensive guitar or when I get that pedal or when I get that third amplifier, then I'll have a good tone. But really, it's it's all about what we do with the instrument that we have. I don't want to get too philosophical with it, but um, these two guitars both sound really good. Now, my personal opinion on them is I just enjoy playing the Falcon. I really like it. Now, it is my guitar. I've had it for a long time, and so I've, I'm bonded with it for sure. But there's definitely just something uh, extra, just a little bit extra special about playing it. I've played a lot of Electromatics and even Streamliner Gretches, which is sort of the range below Electromatic, and they're really affordable and they're awesome. Like, they're really, really great guitars. Um, and I've, I've also played quite a few of the Japanese-made Gretches, and there is something a little bit extra special for me. Um... I don't really know what it is. I mean, it's it's definitely hard to pinpoint. It's definitely hard to put your finger on. Um, I don't know whether there's, you know, over $3,000 US dollars of actual tactile difference between the two guitars. Um, I'm not sure. Obviously, the value is really all about what we put on it and stuff like that. But mine, man, I just, I don't know. It's just there's something special about it. Obviously, we've got all this extra little binding and everything. I don't know if you can see it. Inside the F holes there and all around the body, there's this just beautiful gold goodness and the headstock's so nice. Look at that, far out. <laughs> Sorry, um, I, literally, I've had this guitar, I got it in 2011 and I still look at it and go, holy crap, that's beautiful. Um, the inlays in it are amazing. Um, the I would say this, the tuning stability is a little bit better. The Bigsby feels a lot better. It's just sort of a lot more expressive and nicer to use than the Bigsby on the Electromatic. Is the tone better? I, I think the tone's different. I like it more personally, but I think they're both two tools for maybe different jobs. Um, and I, I don't know whether I could say you have to get this one to sort of have that Gretsch sound. Like, they both sound like great Gretsches. I apologize if I'm not giving a very clear answer. I don't want to give a very clear answer. I want to know what you guys think about these two guitars. Do you think it's worth spending like a whole lot more for the Falcon? Or do you think the Electromatic is a great way to go? Do you think the Streamline is a better way to go, even cheaper Gretsch model? Uh, I've played them and they're awesome as well. Um, let me know in the comments. I'd really like to hear your thoughts on this stuff. Yeah, I think the only answer I can give myself is that it doesn't really matter <laughs> what guitar we buy. It matters what we do with that guitar. And um, you've heard all that before, but yeah, this was fun. I had fun doing this. I had fun making that track and, and putting those two guitars side by side just to see what the difference is, not necessarily see if one's better than the other, but just to sort of hear uh, the differences between them. Um, you've got to play them to really know. I'd highly recommend that you go and try some different stuff out, whether that's for Gretsch's or Fender's or Gibson's or any other guitar model. Um, the only way you can really know is by actually playing it, holding it in your hand and, and giving it a go yourself. Um, don't trust my word, <laughs> trust your own, trust your own ears. Um, anyways, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for joining me for this video. I do appreciate you watching. Uh, hit the like button, hit subscribe if you want to. Um, liking the video apparently helps the algorithm or something. I don't really understand all that stuff, but um, hit like, um, leave a comment, let me know what you think of these two guitars. Um, I'm going to stop rambling now. Thanks for hanging out. I'll see you on the next one.